Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Wednesday, April 20, April 8th, actually. Not 28th, I'm a, I wish. We are here live uh, with Robert Boo, who is about to give us a wonderful tour of the second floor of the new residences here at Equality Park at the Pride Center. So, with no further ado, Mr. Robert Boo. Boo! Hey, everyone. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the residences. Here, let me take off my uh, my mask so you can hear and see me properly. So, uh, welcome. Last week we uh, gave a tour of the first floor of the residences because the important work does continue. And so today we're actually going to do a little walking tour of the second floor. So, before I get started, let me make a couple of announcements. Um, so uh, our fund asked me to ensure that everyone knows that they are um, establishing a resilience fund of $150,000 and they're going to do a one for one match. And so uh, all the gifts up to $150,000 will be doubled with monies from our fund and then it's going to go for two different causes. One, immediate relief for those LGBTQ agencies providing support to the community and then a long-term recovery um, for the agencies because with all of the, uh, everything shutting down and corporations not in business, the uh, agencies that rely upon the kindness of our business partners out in the community are gonna be impacted adversely. And so our fund is trying to fill that gap. So uh, if you have a couple of extra quarters that you can rub together, please contribute to the resiliency fund at our fund. Also, yesterday during Coffee and Conversation, I let everyone know that AHF was up and running and providing tests, and our friends over at uh, Midway Specialty Care Group and, and uh, 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 it'll come to me in a second, but Midway is also providing services to their clients, and so if you have any uh, medical needs, see them. And then also, as a reminder, Census 2020. It is time for everyone to be counted. And as I announced yesterday, the response rate to our county is 42 percent. And Cooper uh, City is leading the county with 58 percent response rate. Kendall Park is last with 23. And Wilton Manors is at 42 point nine. So we need to get those numbers up folks. Uh, programs such as what we offer here at the, the center and what we'll be offering at the residences are impact immediately because of the census count. So let's start our tour. So just to give you an idea of where we are, this is the rendering of the residences. This is the Schubert building, which is right here. And I'm standing in the new entranceway, the new vestibule. And right over here is the residences. And so this is a very cool new entrance that you're gonna be coming into. You'll come in and go to the right into the Schubert building or left into the residences. And so we'll actually have So we're going to actually give you a tour of the studio, a one-bedroom, and the two-bedroom apartment life. This is where the elevator... So 
So this is one of my favorite apartments. It's a studio apartment. And let's walk in here. Restroom. This is the living room for the studio. Actually has a bedroom. Look at all the windows. And so, just so you can see where we are, if you haven't seen the room, this is the very front of the building. These are the studio apartments that are located here looking over Dixie Highway. And we are actually in this apartment right here. So, gonna have a great view of Dixie Highway. Boo, how many of these do we have? There are gonna be 21 studio apartments, 21 one bedroom, and six two bedroom apartments. Very nice sliding glass doors. Lots of nice space. We're gonna walk down the hallway here. Keeping out of the way of the construction crew. As you can see, it's really quite exciting. You can really see how the apartments are going to be laid out now. So let's go into... The two, I believe. Let's go into the two bedroom, which is down here. Hallways are very nice. Uh, natural light coming in. And so this is one of the six two-bedroom apartments. Hold on. Christopher said that the video stopped, but it hasn't said anything on my end, so it might be his internet. <laughs> All right. So, come on in. Immediately to our right is a restroom with a top that just needs a little cleaning. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. Walk-in closet from the bathroom into one of the bedrooms. Overlooking Dixie Highway and looking at 20th Street. <laughs> nice high ceilings. We'll walk into the living room and here's the kitchen. Nice little closet space, a walk-in closet. Look at this, nice big walk-in closet. I'm now coming out of the closet again. Second bathroom. This one looks like it has a shower. The other one has a, a tub in it. And then, Look at the view from this bedroom. I could do my fan dance for everyone on 20th Street to see. Great light, nice high windows. Very cool space. shower stall, do your hair, bathroom, this is the one bedroom that connects to the bathroom, has a closet, nice storage space, overlooks the uh, 
new courtyard and entrance to the residences and the Schubert building. And then we're gonna walk into the living room. Now, so this is a perfect time while you're all at home and you have some extra time on your hands to maybe do some spring cleaning. So I started that, and I started with my bathroom. So I don't know how this got there. I'm not gonna ask. I think it was my dog's Lily and Retta. And then the next thing is this evil, torturous tool. I'm going to spray clean my way out of the bathroom. So Start spring cleaning, start cleaning out your uh, stuff that you don't need, like a nasty scale like that. And um, and then this is just, uh, it really is exciting to see this come to fruition and uh, see that the construction is still considered essential and all the work is still going on. We still meet on a weekly basis with the uh, Jaxi and Carrefour, our developer partner and um, the team here on site. And so um, it's really just a, a very cool to see that this all is coming to fruition. If you haven't driven by lately, you can, you'll see that they have primed the entire building. And then uh, starting next week, they're gonna start painting the exterior with those colors that I didn't show you and you didn't know anything about. But um, it's gonna be, uh, it's really fun and exciting. So join me next week as we go up on another floor and see the progress that they're making on the third floor. And um, then we'll hit the fourth floor, we'll hit the rooftop the week after that, and then we'll end up back on the first floor because by then they'll have more of the uh, first floor uh, um, completed. Uh, completed or drywall back, wall back. I think that's the official term. So um, I've got to get back to work because uh, I'm hammering and nailing and sweeping and doing all sorts of work around here to help them out because uh, I'm really crafty and handy. So um, thanks for joining us on this brief little tour and I hope uh, it caused a smile on your face and brought some joy into your life. And so that, <laughs> know that the Pride Center is here for you. All of our staff are working remotely because the center is close to the public. So if there's anything that you need, any services or programs or any good uh, services, Please go ahead and call our number, at, look for the uh, extension that you're looking for, and our staff will link you um, just like we always do. And remember, our mission is we provide a welcoming, safe space, an inclusive home, literally a home, that celebrates, nurtures, and empowers the LGBTQ communities and our friends and neighbors here in South Florida. So thanks so much. Have a good day. Stay healthy, talk to someone, reach out to someone who may be living alone and may feel, be feeling isolated, and um, just connect. Remember, we are your career point of connection for the community, and we are only here because of you. So thanks so much, have a good day, talk to you later.